the topic we're here to talk about today are the three fundamental interoperability problems that Virto's digital twin technology solves. We're very grateful to have uh, Dr. Michael Anderson joining us as a speaker. We want to make sure that today's conversation is not a technology conversation. It's a uh, what is the digital twin platform doing to help solve some of the uh, clinical challenges associated with challenges or lack of interoperability, care coordination, and uh, being able to easily uh, uh, track patient transitions. When we think about why interoperability doesn't work, there's usually, you know, there's three major traps that we see projects sitting into. And so we're going to go through this, uh, just the traps that happen. And, you know, they're traps because um, well-natured projects are going to try addressing them. And what they do is they end up increasing the complexity and, and, and jeopardizing the ability for them to execute successfully. So the first trap is that you need to consolidate all patient data into one place. I suspect the idea of having all the information in one place doesn't actually change any of the real issues. And I think the idea had always been that if we could all get it into one place, that might fix the issue. But the truth of the matter is there's, there's been no significant movement because um, it, it's, it's actually somewhat impossible. There's legacy systems that are built for very specific purposes. So uh, the second trap that uh, I've come across, and I'd like to hear your opinion on it, is that you know people in these projects think that all the data is needed. Yeah, so as much as we say we want more data, drowning in data is actually as dangerous in many respects as not having data. The third trap that we find is that we have to use the same interface, right? and they, they, they drive it to it, or they try bringing someone onto an EMR. It also misses that a lot of systems are created for very specific purposes. And you know, bringing everyone into the same EMR, the same platform, doesn't actually guarantee that they get the, the integration, the, the forward-facing the, you know, entity that they need for their specific task. We came up with the digital twin plat platform is because we really realized that solutions tend to be created around buildings as opposed to being built around the patient. And we wanted to see what type of architecture would support that. So um, that's really where the digital twin helps us bypass a lot of the traps that we've talked about here. So, you know, one of the big shifts that we're trying to do with the digital twin is we're trying to stop building integrations and interoperability around technology, and we're trying to build it around the patient and the clinical workflow. What is a digital twin? Well, we take the data that the systems create around each patient, and we, call it, we combine that with an understanding of the workflow that a person or the, the, the flow that a patient has as they go through their disease or care journey. And then we com combine that with an understanding of the, the stakeholders and the people around them to create this contextual understanding of data as a patient transitions through their care journey. And then understanding the relationships to determine how data needs to flow to people based on their relationship to that digital twin. And what this platform lets us do is it lets us actually build extremely tuned configurable digital pathways that follow specific clinical workflows without having to change the underlying technology that drives the entire system. So I know that uh, a visual is worth a million words. So literally the way that we use it is we can track a patient as they go through their flow. So we use a, a style called Kanban, which is bait or Kanban in the Americanized, Americanized saying. But you can basically drag a person and make them go through their flow. This is an active screen. So whoever's logged in can see the same information. And then you can also click on the record to see any information that you have about them. So you can see the information about their circle of care. You can see any type of forms that we've aggregated. And so the whole point is this, you know, the, the thing that we work on, our solution can work in either this mode where you can see the pathway, but a lot of our customers actually work in a headless mode where we just support the existing EMRs and systems that they have behind the scenes. And so when you see a person get discharged from here, you could be in your EMR and you'd simply see a care plan be updated or a new record come into your EMR from our system.